All right, so today we have a shooting tutorial for the Under Armour Command 2. As you can see, it's a really nice defined mid pocket that fits the shape of this head very well. It's got a pretty decent channel. The mesh I use for this specific tutorial is Lakshon Platinum Mesh, although it will also work if you're using ECD Hero 2.0 or Hero 3.0. It'll be a great pocket for any midfielder or attackman, just about any position all over the field. You could even use this on a long pole or via playing LSM. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so before we begin the tutorial, you're gonna to wanna to do a nine diamond top string. Just like you can see I've done here, you're gonna do that nine diamond top string on the second hole of the head. So once again, nine diamond top string on the second hole of the head. Okay, so for the tutorial, I'm gonna use this camo string so that way you guys can see clearly. We're gonna start the actual solo pattern on the third hole of the head. So I'm gonna put my string through that third hole we're gonna go up and through that first available mesh loop. We're gonna go back and through that same third hole on the head and up and through that mesh loop once again. This will be our tie-in loop. And we're just gonna pull that tight. Now we're going to skip the next two sidewall holes and do a knot. So we're gonna go into the plastic first Pull the string through to leave a little bit of slack or a small loop here. Take your leading in string, go from the front and through of the mesh. And take that leading in string once again and go from the back of that loop that you left over. And so here there should form a pretzel, as you can see. You're gonna take your string from the inside here that's coming through the plastic, you're gonna pull all the slack through. Take your fingertips, pinch the sawwall string to the plastic, making sure the knot rests on top of the bottom rail of the head. It's gonna pull that slack all the way through. And then pull your leading and string straight down. And you should see a knot form and it'll also pull the mesh downwards, starting to create the channel. Now we're going to do another knot. So we're gonna go into the plastic without skipping any sawwall holes. We're gonna leave a small loop. Go from the back or from the front of that mesh and up. And then take your leading and string, go from the back and through of that loop. Once again, we should have this pretzel form. Take your string and pull the slack through from the inside of the head. Take your fingertips, pinch the sawwall string to the plastic, and then pull your leading in string straight down. So there we should have another knot formed. All right, so now we're gonna skip one more sawwall hole. We're gonna do another knot, so into the plastic from the outside, leaving that loop, going from the front of the mesh and up and through that next available mesh loop. Take your leading and string, go from the back and through of that loop. Take your string from the inside, make sure to pull the slack through. Take your fingertips, pinch the solid string, and make sure it rests on the top of that bottom rail. And then pull your leading and string straight down. I'm gonna make sure these knots are nice and tight. And now we're gonna do that one more time. So that's gonna to help to create that channel. As you can see, this tighter portion here on the side, that'll make sure that the ball comes out accurately and consistently. And from here, we're going to finish out the pocket via doing SIs. We're gonna do five SIs down the head, and that's going to finish out with creating the pocket. For the SIs, we're gonna go down and through the next available mesh loop. We're going to go into the plastic from the outside and you'll have a little loop here. Take your string and just bring that through. Before you pull it tight, you wanna pinch the middle of the mesh and pull it towards the top of the scoop. And you're going to pull your leading end string outwards and then up and down. And then once again, take that leading end string, go from the bottom up of that same mesh loop. 
And there we go. So we should be pulling the saw wall string and the mesh essentially away from each other. It's going to create a tighter knot. Do that four more times down to the top of the next mesh loop. And into the plastic on the outside, pulling your leading in string through the loop that you create, as you can see. Take the middle of the mesh once again, pull it towards the top of the scoop. We're gonna make sure to do this for the rest of the remainder of the pocket at least. Going with our leading in string, we're gonna pull outwards and then up and then down, and then back and through that same mesh loop. A few more times, down and through, into the plastic, through the loop that you create, up and down, and then from the back or from the bottom of that same mesh loop. Do it again. All right, now we're gonna do it one last time. Down through the top, into the plastic, through the loop, up and down, and then once again, up and down. Make sure you're pulling the mesh up towards the scoop because that's very important to create the pocket. And to finish this out, it's pretty simple. Just like always, we're gonna take our leading in string, go into the plastic. For this time, we're gonna do the typical interlock or the standard interlock. So we're gonna skip one side wall hole, go into the plastic. You're gonna leave a small loop here. And then from this side, you can see we have our next available mesh loop down here. You're gonna take your string from the inside of the head and then come up and through that mesh loop. And then we're gonna bring our string through that loop that we left over. Since we're still essentially creating the pocket, from this side, we're gonna take the middle of the mesh once again pull it up towards the top of the scoop, pull it outwards and then up and down. And then to finish out this pocket, we're gonna go back over and down through that same mesh loop that we just came up through. We're gonna bring our leading in string out and through that bottom for that same saw wall hole. And I had to use pliers to get my string through just because this string is a little bit thicker and so there, we're just gonna pull it nice and tight and then simply tie it off. And there we go. Okay, so if you follow the tutorial correctly, you should have a really nice looking mid pocket, just like you see I've done here. Like I said before, it's gonna be fantastic for really just about any position all over the field, as well as at any level of play. So if you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and as always, thank you for watching.